Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will draw a simple line art logo for a library named as Owl's Sight. Now let's start with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all go to view and select the view to wide. Again go to view, select show and hide and make sure that all of the options are turned on. Now go to file and select the document properties. Select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. Now this is our command bar. Here you will see a small arrow. Click on it and select fill and stroke menu. Again select this arrow and select align and distribute menu like this. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now select the circle tool and draw a random circle while holding down the control key like this. We doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it and select the stroke color by clicking on this black color while holding down the shift key. Now log the proportion of the circle and set the dimensions of the circle to 250 pixels like this. Now go to fill and stroke menu then stroke style. Change the units to pixels and select the units to say 3 pixels like this. Again select the circle and draw a circle while holding down the control key like this. And set the dimensions of the circle to 350 pixels like this. Now here you will see the snapping tool. Turn it on by clicking on it and then again turn on the quadrant snap like this. Now place this circle at the quadrant of this smaller circle like this. Now select the pen tool and draw a straight line while holding down the control key like this. And select the width of the line to say 3 pixels. Now right click, duplicate it and place this line at this end. Again right click, duplicate it and place this line at this quadrant. and. Right click, duplicate it and drag this line vertically like this. Now select all of these three lines, go to align and distribute menu and select the equal vertical gaps like this and equal vertical axis. Drag it up to this point like this. Also drag this one like this. Select this line, right click, duplicate it and rotate it to 90 degrees like this. Select this line and this circle while holding down the shift key. Again go to align and distribute menu. Select the relative to last selected and select the equal vertical axis like this. Now drag this line up to this point like this. Now select all of these lines by holding down the shift key on the keyboard. Like this. Go to path and select combine. Now it's time to change the color of these lines. So click on this right led color while holding down the shift key like this and place these lines behind our main object or you can say circles. Now select this circle and select the edit paths by nodes tool. And here you will see the circular icon. Drag it like this and up to this point and drag this one up to this point. Select zoom to fit to selection and drag it in a straight line like this. Now select the circle tool and here you will see three icons. So select this arc style. Now again select zoom to fit to page and select this smaller circle. Again drag this circular icon like this. Again select zoom to fit to selection and drag it up to this point and drag it a little upward like this like here now select these lines and press delete on the keyboard select this one go to path and select combine now right click duplicate it and flip it horizontally by clicking on this icon and drag it while holding down the control key up to this point now again select the circle tool 
and draw a circle while holding down the control key. This appears as an arc. So here you will see three icons. So select the complete ellipse like this. Now change the dimensions of the circle to 75 pixels like this. Again select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key like this. Now we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key and give it this red color like this one and select the dimensions of the circle to say 20 pixels like this and select this circle and this stroke circle go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and select equal vertical axis and horizontal axis like this place this like here right click duplicate it and place it like this right click and group them again select both of these circles right click and group them now select these lines go to path and select combine now select all of these three parts and select equal horizontal gaps like this now select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key like this now select the dimensions of the circle to say 415 pixels like this. Select the circle and this line while holding down the shift key. Go to align and distribute menu and from relative to select last selected and select center on vertical axis like this. Now drag this circle vertically while holding down the control key up to this point. I think it's better. Now right click and select cut. Go to edit and select paste in place. Now select edit paths by nodes tool and drag this circular icon up to this point like this and up to this point. Now select zoom to fit to selection like this. Select it up to here and like this. Now select the circle tool and select the arc like this. Again select zoom to fit to page, go to edit and select paste in place like this. Again select the edit paths by nodes tool and drag this circular icon up to this point and this one up to this point. I think it's better. Now select this eye, right click and ungroup them. Again select this one, right click and select ungroup. Now select all of these bars by holding down the shift key on the keyboard like this and like this remember that doesn't select these solid colors inside the eye go to path and select combine like this then go to fill and stroke menu and in stroke style change the dimensions to say 10 pixels like this also select the round joints and round caps now this is our logo Reduce the dimensions by dragging this point. Sorry. First select all of these parts and group them. Now reduce the dimensions while holding down the control key and dragging this point. Like this. Now select the text tool and write the name of the logo. Which is Owl's site. Now it's time to change the font. So select it and write the name as Microsoft. Yi Beti like this. Again select the text tool, select the text and increase the space between the letters to say 10 pixels like this. Select this font and this circle, go to fill and stroke menu, sorry align and distribute menu and select equal on vertical axis like this. Now drag it in the center like this. Now this is our final logo and it's time to give it some colors which I have already decided. You can easily see the colors from the color codes. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this end to this end. We doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key. And give it a solid color by selecting the dropper tool and give it this dark color and place it behind all of the objects like this. 
Now select all of these parts except these eyes. Again go to dropper and click on this orange color while holding down the shift key like this. Now select only these eyes. Again go to dropper and click on this orange color without holding down the shift key like this. Now select this text and give it this orange color like this. Now you can delete these color codes by clicking delete on the keyboard. Now this is our final logo. Share your thoughts about the design that whether you like it or not or how this design can be improved. And if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.